I have made some huge signings recently, buying five Copa America players for the upcoming game week, and more specifically, Argentinian players. I'll go through everything in today's video and also build the lineups for the upcoming game week. And I'm just so excited because I have spent almost 300 up to 400 euros on limited Argentinian players. This is so risky. But please make sure to leave it in the comments, do you think it's worth it or not? And I will also talk about why I'm doing this and also the strategy and how I will actually earn buying into the hype, which I'm always saying to you guys that you shouldn't do. But I've done it in today's video and I will explain you why. And also, if you're brand new to Sarah, remember to sign up using the affiliate link if you want to use mine, that is much appreciated. You'll get 50 euros after buying 5 cards, but now let's get started straight into it and also you can see here that we have some reward boxes to open that will be tomorrow's video so keep that in mind and also keep in mind that recently it has been so much to do when it comes to my job I have started working a 9 to 5 job so it will be very hard for me to upload consistently but I will try my best but uh, therefore the content uh, in the future may not be as consistent but I will try to find a way to upload almost one video each day and as you see on the screen right here we have the five different players we have Emiliano Martinez, Lisandro Martinez, McAllister, Romero and also Lionel Messi and one thing to keep in mind is that Lionel Messi may not play and if Lionel Messi gets benched or even um, doesn't uh, make the squad this will be a total failure but I will go big or I will go home so this is very risky but I think it will be worth it but I uh, think, let's go on sorry data, and I want to show you why I've purged these different players. Uh, let's start off with Martinez, really, really quick. And as you can see, now um, he is uh, just a very, very good goalkeeper in general. He has now spiked a little bit up in price, which you love to see. Now I think he's worth... Um, yeah, he got sold for 90 euros recently. And now he's around 86 for new season and also 180 euro card here. And this card will most likely be sold pretty soon. And here we can see I got him for 80 euros. I'm pretty happy about that purchase. And if we go to his SO5 scores, he has been doing really, really well in the group stages. And Argentina is a very, very good defensive team. And also for Aston Villa, look at these type of scores he gets there. So this is a guy I may keep for the future as well, because I think Martinez is such a good goalkeeper. Although I don't like to say it, but I generally believe he's such a good keeper. Um, yeah, uh, that is the first one. And uh, the second one will be Romero. I think he is also a very, very important piece to this uh, collection. And uh, yeah, he is 98% to play. And if we go to his auctions, he is around 34 euros, which is very nice. And I'll also tell you how I got four of these players, because I got them in a big card trade. And if we go to SSO5 scores, yeah, he's just incredible. <laughs> Look at these AA performances. Just an incredible player. So that is very, very, very exciting. Uh, and he is like one of the more, more uh, nailed one for this thing to actually work out. Uh, and uh, once again for Tottenham, I may keep him because look at his scores for Tottenham as well. He's just an incredible SO5 scorer. Uh, and the next one will be in the midfield. And in the midfield, I will go for Mac Allister. I think he's also very, very nailed. And he can have those offensive threats. Mac Allister, there we go. Um, and if you go to SO5 scores, yeah, so he's also pretty consistent around 35 euros. Uh, very, very nice. And look at his scores. He's a AA monster for Argentina. And if you can get a decisive or two, he can get close to those two 100 pointers, uh, which I have gotten regularly for uh, Liverpool. In that time period, he was just insane. Uh, so hopefully he could bring that back against Ecuador. He's also another player I will have in my team for sure. And then I want to just show Martinez uh, first, the other defender, which will be the extra player in this team. And this is, uh, I'm a little bit uncertain about, but I think I will go for it. I will have a triple defensive stack of Argentina, and hopefully he can get a little bit uh, better of an AA score against Ecuador. But we know how good uh, Lissander Martinez can be, and especially if we go to all-time score. Yeah, we know how good he can be. Just look at these scores, it's just insane. Uh, so Lissander Martinez, the Findlay one, I'm really, really excited to see in action. Uh, but the last one will be none other than Lionel Messi, the second best football player uh, that have ever existed. I'm just joking, uh, but uh, one of the best to ever exist, and he is just so good. 
Uh, and uh, he hasn't been that good in Copa America so far, but Ronaldo hasn't been as good in the Euros either, so that levels uh, things out. Uh, but in terms of his price, I think uh, 73 euros, 80 euros, very, very fair for him. And I have recently purchased him in a trade, as I mentioned. And uh, yeah, in terms of his scores, he will most likely be my captain. And he has recently trained, so I think personally he will play, but I'm, as I said, not 100% sure. Uh, but I think he should play and also he has utility for me in the MLS afterwards so this one will be definitely one to keep I think for the long term future or not the short term season because I don't think he will play next season to be honest in the highest level although MLS isn't the highest level but you know uh, what I'm talking about in terms of uh, getting those scores you pay for him uh, so yeah let's build the lineup and I think in general this just looks really really strong but first of all I want to just show you the trade I got him in I think if we go scroll down here to Lionel Messi yeah view trade yeah, so I actually gave away, or not gave away, but sold uh, Reinders. I need to just check how much he's worth now. Because I always like to do this after making trades, just checking how much they're now worth. Okay, so he's worth 58 euros, that is fine. So he hasn't gone down as much as I thought he would, so that is good for you guys that have Reinders in your galleries. Mm, uh, yeah, let's move down. Uh, Lenormand I sold. Uh, he has now recently been f uh, bought for 44 euros because the move to Atletico Madrid. I don't think that will suit him that well because he isn't a good AA scorer in general. And I think, don't think Atletico Madrid play a way that he will benefit from. That is just my personal preference and I'm actually happy that uh, I didn't keep him for that move. Merit Gunnuk also a little bit unlucky here that I sold him because after that late uh, minute save he has spiked up in price. Um, so yes, yeah, some downsides here, but one upside is we got Delict, which is now linked strongly to Manchester United. And keep in mind, I traded this card with an all-season card with more experience. And then we got Lisandro Martinez for 12 euros, McAllister for 34, and also Cristiano Romero for 34, and also Lionel Messi for uh, up to uh, 70. So. Looking back at it, it wasn't the best of trades, but keep in mind I thought that Austria were to win against Turkey and then of course Matt Gudok would go down in price. And also I thought Lennermann wouldn't get a move to Atletico Madrid, which many people think will be good. Me personally don't think so, but I think this trade evens out against versus Basilbot and also I get some utility out of these Argentinian guys in the upcoming game week. And for example, with Mark Junok, I don't have any utility for him in the upcoming game week, if that makes sense. But now I just want to show you uh, what I'm planning. Uh, and that is to play here. Uh, and this will probably be the team. They are pr uh, playing Friday. Uh, when are they playing? They are playing Friday. Uh, three, oh, so I can't actually watch that match. That is a little bit unfortunate. Because I have work the day after. But still, it will be very exciting to wake up and see the result. And of course, see the highlights. And my goal is to get inside the top 40. Get those $20 plus a tier 1 uh, and get uh, those reward boxes. One thing to keep in mind is that I don't think I will be able to get any better than top 10 just because that I don't have much experience on these guys. I don't have a player here that has more than 7% experience bonus. And I don't think I will captain Cristiano Romero. I think I will captain Lionel Messi. Uh, but for now I will just have it on Cristiano Romero, uh, although if I get confirmation that Lionel Messi starts, I will of course switch it to him. Um, but I think in general also this team looks really really strong. Uh, and there aren't that many participants, 1200, uh, but of course I'm filming this the day before the deadline, so there will of course be more managers when the game week kicks off. But I have very very high hopes on this team, and especially if Lionel Messi starts, I think he will do it, he will do everything in his power to start. But I don't want to captain him if I don't get confirmation about it, but I think we will probably do it, so he may be the captain for me. Uh, so yeah, this is just a very very exciting team, and a team worth almost 400 euros. And you never know, it may bring home something better and I may actually earn the money back, but that is not my goal. My goal is to, to just gain as much as I can. And also one thing I think is really, really important is that if we go to Copa America, Copa America quarterfinals, quarterfinals, I just want to show you one thing really quick because uh, if we go to pictures, we can see here, yeah, we can see here that uh, if we get a full screen, or that is a YouTube video, 
uh, if we take full screen here, or almost full screen, we can see that Argentina will play against Ecuador, and if Argentina uh, wins, they will be up against, I think it's Venezuela or Canada. I th I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, I think it's wrong here actually, so I think they will be up against Venezuela or Canada, which is also a better victory than Ecuador. So this could be really, really nice. If Argentina goes through, they will most likely be in a very, very um, good stage. And then, of course, Colombia will most likely be up against Ur Uruguay or Brazil. And I think then Ar having a full Argentina stack could be really, really strong. So that is also something I need to have in the back of my head and uh, something I think looks really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, I think that is it for today's video. I will make more videos updating it when it comes to my gallery. I have now recently deposited a lot of money into Sorer and uh, started my final investments for the upcoming season. I will make a full video about my plan, my strategies and also talking about some of my new signings. But for now, this was just a video to uh, talk about uh, the five new signings here. Uh, the Argentinian collection, which I'm so excited to use. Please make sure to leave it in the comments. Do you think this is a good or a bad idea? And when it comes to me selling them, I'm not 100% sure. I think I may do it right before the final, if they come all the way to the final. Uh, but yeah, leave it in the comments. As I said, what do you think about this strategy? But for now, my name is Linus Halle, and I'll catch you next one. Bye bye, and take care. Peace.